I want to welcome you again to another episode here on Restoration. My name's David. I go by a Rev here on YouTube. Uh, my full-time job, my calling in life is to serve a local church here in our community as pastor. Uh, that is my calling. That is my number one job. That is the first thing I do. But on the side, I've got a few side hustles, and one of them is I like uh, restoring old Fords. And this here is my 1968 F100. Uh, this truck here, I have given the nickname, I've named uh, this old girl, Old Puddin'. And uh, if you want to know why, you're going to go back to the first, uh, the end of the first video in this series and the beginning of the second video in this series, and you're going to see why. Uh, we call her Old Puddin' because when we drain the oil, yep, it looked like puddin'. It was pretty gross. So go back and look at that. She's come a long way since then. Today, in this episode of Restoration, we're going to fix this old girl's bed. Secret of YouTube. When you hit that subscribe button, it is absolutely free to you but it immensely blesses me. All right, y'all, today we're gonna work on old Puddin's bed. I know this is one of those things, it's rusty, it's got a few vent holes in it. Uh, we're gonna try to repair all that. Now, I wanna say this at the beginning part of the video. Is this the way to restore a 1968 F100 bed? That question is left to be answered. Uh, this may or may not be the best way to do it. No, no, I'm gonna go and tell you up front, this is not the best way to do it. If you're trying to restore this truck back to its original bed, this isn't the way to do it. The way to do that is to cut all of this bed out and to weld in a new, a new bed, new metal, and to paint it. Hey, that's not what we're doing. We're going to uh, bring this truck back. We want this bed to be usable. We want this bed to be nice, but I'm not uh, throwing a, a million dollars at this truck because if we look at the side of this truck, uh, we're gonna leave this look. Uh, this is the way that old pudding is gonna look going down the road. Now, uh, you may uh, want to notice that we have done a little bit of work uh, to old pudding. Now, I'm not saying all of this work is something that is going to really be able to stand out, uh, but of course here you'll be able to see we fixed some rust holes in the side, but we made it look old. We made it look like the truck uh, did not have holes in it, and we made it look like this truck uh, actually had the rust. So why do we need to repair the bed? Well, that's why. You'll see there's a few rust holes uh, that is in the bed all the way across. You'll be able to see that. Uh, over there, there's some rust holes. Let's see, let's turn around. Yep, there is a rust hole. I don't know if you can see my fingers down there. Woo -loo -loo. Yep, there's some rust holes. So all of this is on its way out. Uh, it's rusty. So what do we plan on doing with this bed? One of the things I wanna do is I want to run a rough sand over it. I wanna get the flaky rust out. I'm going to treat it uh, with some rust stop paint. And then I want to take some aluminum. Uh, I've got, I'll show you the aluminum. I'm gonna take the aluminum and go all the way around the edges uh, on both sides and probably go by with some aluminum on the back. And then I want to put some bed liner, some spray-in bed liner on this and seal this uh, bed as well as possible. We want to make it work. We want to make it look decent, but we don't want to make it look new. We don't want to make it look like this is a, a brand new bed and a brand new truck. It's going to be Puddin's bed. Now, Puddin's bed would not be made with all little dots and frillies. Puddin's bed would just be thrown back together and make it presentable. That's what we're gonna do in this episode and hopefully it'll be something you'll enjoy. All right y'all, the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna use uh, this finger eater. That's not what it's called, but uh, in the last, it was this finger in the last episode or the last episode in this series, I was repairing and I actually ripped uh, my finger with this because you can't use the paint scrubber with a guard. So it cost me uh, a few uh, about an inch of my skin and it hurt for about a couple of weeks that finger is repaired i'm hopefully not going to do that again 
But I'm gonna go around and scrub as much of this as I can, get some sandpaper out. I'm gonna get all the rough flakes of rust out. And when I do that, after I do that, I'm gonna come back and show you, uh, probably spray it out. And then I'll show you the material that we're gonna spray on it and then start to uh, bring this truck's bed back to life. All right, I've decided maybe a face mask would be wise. Mm. We're gonna get started with the orbital sander. Um, I know it's getting close, it is October 13th. I just heard something today and thought I'd share it with you. Do you know which kind of music a, uh, a mummy likes? Rap music. All right, I'm gonna get started with this orbital sander while you're laughing. <laughs> start doing any more prep I need to spray this out this uh, air from the air compressor Let's start at the front blow to the back yeah. help me to have sharded the fist side and work my way back oh my lord it's a lot of junk y'all i've been waiting for the compressor to stop running and all these cars to stop going uh, i'm gonna tell you what's not fun what is not fun is having to wear a mask um now this is not a political statement uh i don't like wearing safety glasses and a mask i never have uh i know it may be for my safety but it bogs up the glasses so any of you during the pandemic that wear glasses and a face mask I apologize, it's gotta be really difficult. But I wanna tell you what is fun. Uh, I'm using my compressor and I'm blowing all this stuff out. Look at this, watch. Oh, isn't that fun? Watch this. Woohoo! There's just something fun about that. There's just something fun about blowing it all. Look at that. Look at all that rust. Hey, uh, I probably gained three horsepower or what? Come on, look at all that. Oh, yeah. All right, now as I fall out of the truck, I think now is a pretty good time to uh, kind of do it a good once over, maybe go in, get a few more rough spots, clean those up. I want to seal the seams. Uh, probably just with some putty. Uh, then I want to go in uh, and put my metal in. But I'm going to show you all the stuff that I plan on using. I'll do that right now. Oh, I know uh, how dirty I am. This rust is getting all over me. But I'm going to share with you the product that I plan on using to stop the rust and what I plan on doing uh, to the bed. So here we go. Um, here's first, uh, Rust-Oleum Rust Reformer. Let's get my shadow out of it. Uh, this stuff here is supposed to instantly converts rust to protect paintable surface. So, uh, 
I plan on using this all over the bed. I've got four cans. I don't know if it'll do it, but I plan on all on the inside bed up to this top rail. I plan on up to this top rail all the way through the bed. I plan on spay spraying this rust reformer to stop the rust. Then, on the area of the truck that I do not, the area of the truck, let's see, let's turn it this way, get some sun on it. The area of the truck that I do not want to do uh, spray in bed liner, I'm going to spray with this satin all surface paint and primer. I'm going to paint it all along the inside. Basically, that line, if you look over here, the line that is above uh, the wheel well, uh, that line there up, to the inside, I'm going to spray paint with this satin spray paint. That edge there down all the way through the bed, I wanna spray the uh, bed liner. That is the plan. And then I'm using this Rust-Oleum truck bed coating. Uh, it's a textured non-skid finish, abrasion resistant. It also stops rust. So will this work? We're gonna find out together. Uh, I'm going to do that. But you may ask, Rev, what about, what about those holes? What about those holes? Well, if you see there, you see this aluminum. This is two by two angle aluminum. I think it is uh, 1 16th maybe. Uh, and I'm going to cut it and lay it all along the edges. I'm gonna cut this and lay it all along these edges here and those edges there. The inside, I'm just going to seal all along the edges all the way through. The back uh, edge there, I'm probably uh, gonna cut one of these down and go across uh, the top there. That will be, that will be the plan. So. All right, y'all, I think it's important to say this in this part of the video. I don't want to take a long time to say it, but I do want to say it. If you're watching this video and uh, you're saying, hey, uh, I'm going to learn how to repair my bed. I've already said it once. I'll say it again. I'm not saying this is how you should repair your bed, the bed of your truck. This ain't how you should make your puddings bed. No way am I telling you to do that. What I am doing is I'm sharing with you my experience. There's no way in the world I would pay somebody else to do what I'm about to do. I just wouldn't do it. I wouldn't pay them because I'm going to do it. This is how I'm going to repair the bed of this truck. So if you plan on writing and saying that was the most idiotic way to ever do it, hey, please do that. I'd love a comment. I'd love a subscribe. I would love a, a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You know, I, I appreciate all that dialogue because it tells me what you like and what you don't like. And I do care. Uh, I do care. But um, this is how I'm doing it, and that's what I'm doing. I'm sharing you how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do some Alex caulk here, some window caulk around some areas. Guess what? That's probably not how you're supposed to do it. I'm going to repair holes with aluminum and screws, and then I'm going to paint a bed liner over it. That's probably not how you're supposed to do it, but that's how I'm going to do it. And I hope when we get done, this bed is going to look 10 times better than it looks now. It's going to be even excuse me, even more usable than it is now. And guess what? I'm going to be satisfied. And in so doing that, I hope that is entertaining and informative and that this is a way that you can do your bed. Probably wouldn't pay somebody to do the bed of your truck this way. But hey, guess what? This is how I'm doing mine.
Okay, the first spot that I want to do the metal is going to be here. Um, and it is 36 inches. 36 inches to the point. So I'm going to go flat to 36 at a 45. We have our mark set on 36. Let's see it. Let's go see if this will work. This piece is cut at 36 inches. All right. now the next thing I want to do is I want to screw in the base here screw in the base I'm gonna periodically or just randomly well systematically maybe that's the word I'm looking for gonna screw in closer to the edge all the way down through here then I'm gonna actually put a bead of, of uh, caulk down bead of caulk on the back and then I will screw in the top as I get the bottom done so I want to do the bottom first and then the top All right, y'all, day one of the build is complete. I'll show you the bed. So far, it's got a lot uh, left to do. Of course, I've got the rust stop on it. I've got the metal in it. I've got a few more screws I've got to put in over here. Got most of it caulked. But uh, cool thing about doing this as a fun time project is if I'm tired or don't want to do it anymore, I don't have to. Uh, I've got a lot of cool things coming up today. Well, the Atlanta Braves have game two of the National League Championship Series. We whooped some uh, Dodger butt yesterday. Go Braves. Um, I've got a Bible study tonight. I have, uh, I don't know, 14, 15 orders. I've got a pack for my eBay business. So I'm going to clean this up and come back to this tomorrow if I get time. But it all, all this will be in the same episode. So I just want to show you what day one is complete. And I've got to get a few uh, products and I'll come back tomorrow and finish it. All right, same day, I lied, not intentionally. Uh, the Braves game don't come on to 6.05. So I've got my orders packed. I've got a little bit of time. So I'm gonna go on, I got some more caulk. Got some more caulk here. I'm gonna go on and get these holes drilled and get it good and caulked and let it dry i've actually played around some with the uh with the paint and man i tell you what that stuff man it looks pretty good it's there and there and not here see the difference so uh you know probably gonna need a couple more coats but i'm loving it so far so let me all right y'all we're back uh next day so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna go and uh we're gonna put all of the black paint uh all of the bed liner paint uh, on the the truck bed uh, i want to show you um that's what it looks like there uh looks really really nice got a little sparkle to it uh on the inside of uh the tailgate so now i want to go transition into this and go all the way over of course i've got the caulking got everything it is all sealed all the way around so i'm going to go in and get all that painted get it all painted and then come over uh come over the whole thing uh with the bed liner paint let's get to it
right, everyone. Old bed's finished. I don't know about you, but I think I have done a pretty good job at making Puddin's bed. So I'm gonna turn now. We're gonna give you a reveal of the bed. Well, that truck was just getting on it. I tell you what, no Jake break, but boy, he was giving it the gas. Uh, so I'm gonna turn and now I'm gonna show you uh, what the bed looks like. Uh, is it perfect? No, it's a 1968 Ford F100. Is there more that I could have done? Could I cleaned it? Could I taken it all the way down? Yeah, I could have done all of those things, but hey, I didn't. I want to share with you now and show you the bed. Dun, dun, dun. Look at there, not bad at all, I don't think. If we look, um, if we look, of course, I took the metal all the way around. You see uh, the metal there. Um, the metal, of course, goes all the way around, and then the whole bed. Uh, the whole bed is actually uh, done with the bed liner. I went to go buy another can of the bed liner just to hit the back one more time. I'll probably do that. Uh, it may not look all that great on camera, but hey, uh, it's done. The bed is done. I'm gonna shut the bed okay. here. So I don't know about y'all, but I appreciate you so very much for watching. I know no way, oh yeah, hold on. What in the world? What is that? Did somebody paint the bumper of pudding? Uh-oh. All right, y'all, that's a little tease. To be continued, I think we're gonna work on both bumpers, maybe uh, hit some highlights on old pudding and uh, got a little bit more to do on the body and uh got some stuff i want to do on the doors got some stuff i want a lot of stuff i want to do in the interior we want to get the outside done first uh, and get it to where we want it then we'll go to the interior hey but as always we appreciate y'all if you're not subbed to the channel man it would be an awesome blessing if you would uh sub to the channel uh so many of you are viewing and man it is awesome we're grateful that you're viewing the videos hopefully this is one that you have enjoyed um hopefully uh this is uh giving you an idea it cost me right at a hundred dollars metal screws paint everything to uh kind of get this bed back to where it can be used again and i'm pleased in that but we appreciate you for watching uh thus far and as always we know no way of closing out any of these videos and saying deuces may god bless